Hi there, so today we're going to figure out how to add an animated course picture and banner to your Schoology account. Now for this, we are going to need the help of Canva. And if you haven't used Canva already, it's like a graphic design website, um, has a bunch of templates, pre-made templates uh, for flyers, resumes, um, and much, much more. I would strongly recommend that you apply, if you're a teacher, apply for the Canva for Education account. Uh, it's a separate um, website. You're going to have to fill this out um, and submit proof that you are a teacher right here. It takes, from my experience, it took about 24 hours for your account to get upgraded to this. Um, but this will basically give you the Canva Pro access in addition to a bunch of add-ons for classroom, for teachers, for worksheets that are already pre-made for almost all subjects. Um, you'll know once you've uh, logged in, you can go to your account settings and it'll say here, Canva for Education. Again, it took me about 24 hours or pretty fast about it. Um, Any more and I would just probably give it within three to five days just to be safe. Um, so once you've gotten approved, you have the free account access, you can go ahead and start creating your, um, well, we're going to start creating our course picture. Now, Schoology typically recommends, and I have, and you can even have a folder for like different subjects. So my, I created a folder just for my Schoology designs. Um, we're going to start off with the little squared course picture. Now, this is a 350 by 350 pixel size with my box stretching the text, stretching across from it, and then making sure it's more centralized because what happens is I want my students to also see it in this view. See how the letters are in this little box right here? So this little size is 350 by 100. So the template that I made, again, 350 by 350, but the box with the text inside is 350 by 100, just an FYI. Um, so here I just, uh, for in this instance, I, I can look up, um, I can upload my own pictures. I can do photos that they've already included. Um, I can just add the more elements. So if I just want a single picture with like a, without the background, they, I can look for it. And if you do have the education account, it'll tell you, see, that because you're an education subscriber, you'll get those pro images or those premium images for free. So this is great. Um, you can add videos. You can add anything that's more, uh, well, typically, right now this is a course picture, but you do have the possibility of adding music later on, styles, um, if this is something that you're going to be using uh, throughout, right? Here's your background. And this is where I, I just typed in, like, a uh, shiplap, and this popped up, or in wood. So that I, I put that as my background. Um, another thing that you can do is you can click on more and you can integrate this with uh, various other programs, including Bitmoji, yay, or a GIFs or your Google Drive. Um, so this is amazing, a QR code perhaps. So once you've uh, customized it to your liking, I added a sunflower and I put this, I layered it into the back. So this is like my second layer. My first layer is my, um, or my background is my shiplap. Then I have my sunflower. I didn't want it so overwhelmingly because this is the original version, but I just felt like I it was gonna be hard to see the writing. So I just kind of want this to not be the emphasis. I want the writing to be it. And you can just play with that transparency feature. It's, it's still there, but not taking over the what the main uh, point is. For my writing, I, I picked uh, Glacial Indifference and typically it doesn't come like this, I added some effects to this. So I added a shadow. You can take away, but see, it doesn't really give a much character. So I added a shadow. Um, there's so much more though. You can do splice, lift, glitch, maybe neon, if you're into that. But I just said shadow. You can choose direction. Again, the transparency, how, how light do you want that shadow to be? The color, perhaps. See. Then uh, once you're done playing with that, you can leave that alone. I added another text box here, a smaller one, and I just changed it to hollow. So, because usually, typically, you want the biggest one to have big and bold, and then this one a smaller font with like more cursive towards the bottom. Um, I added a pencil there just for to know that it's writing correct, and I just look under that for I just look under pencil. 
And here I have all these options. So depending on the photo, you can even change the colors of said images. So if you do, if you have a blue and you want to change that to pink, you can't see. So that's another great option. Okay, I am satisfied with this. So after I'm done, uh, to, it's to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and press on the side right here, just anywhere in the gray. And this is where I can get it. I can just download it as, as is, download it as a PNG. If you just want this photo, no, no movement at all. But if you want the GIF, the animated version, you're going to click here at this top. And it's going to say, at first, well, mine's on scrapbook, but at first it's going to say animate. And you can click any of the options that they have. So here it'll just, all the elements that you added. So this, if you want it to go letter by letter, you're going to have to type each letter in a text box. Um, if you want images, so anything that you want it to, to be um, popped in, you're going to have to do it individually in its own box. But I'm okay with just the way it is. Uh, with the word itself just moving. So again, I, I wanted to do block. You could do block, pan, let's see, stomp, hang on. There we go. See, after, if you're ready with that, if you if it's too long or too short, you can change the timing. Five seconds is the predetermined, the, the one that's already there. All right, so once it's animated, I'm good to go. I'm going to play it just to make sure that that's what I like. Okay. I don't like that one. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pr do this download. Oh, another thing that Canva can do, they can link straight to your Google Classroom, your Remind. You can share the link or present it. Facebook, any of the options here. Great, great, great. Um, you can download. And then not the video, but the GIF right here. And you press download. Once you're ready, you're going to go back to your uh, course. Press edit picture and just upload it like you would normally and find it. So that explains that part. For the next part, we're going to be going into the banner. So for this, I if you do have the Canva Pro feature that you can actually do this. So I would create a copy, right? So then you make a copy. And what would happen is I would Want to, I kind of I want to keep the similar theme. I don't want to redo this whole thing all over again. So I'm just going to make a copy, and it'll make a copy. You open it, of course. I'm going to change the name while we're waiting. I'm going to call it Writing Banner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. And the Facebook cover size works perfectly. Uh, this is the one that I've been using the most. So I'm just going to go ahead and resize it. And it'll say, do you want to copy and resize it already, or do you just want to resize it? So I've already made a copy of it, so I'm just going to click the resize. And it'll take your elements, and it will uh, resize it accordingly. Now, if you want to add even more elements, I added a couple more sunflowers so it doesn't look so empty. And I did the same process of just um, making them transparent. Um, if Let's say, for example, I have this sunflower, and it's right in the front of my... Um, I want it to be behind text. I will click on it and then look for the position button. And then I would put it backwards, see? So that way the, the that it's layered on to, on behind the uh the text. And of course you can always mess with the transparency. There's all these cute features here. If you just want to duplicate it, you can click on this and press duplicate and then it'll do a couple of course, do it to your liking. And then it should already be animated because you made the first one animated. Let's see. But if you want, you can go always change that. Maybe add a bitmoji if you need if you need to. Um when I'm ready for this, I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna click on download. And not MP4, but GIF. And I download. Now here's the tricky part. You will need to open a Google Slides for this. And it doesn't seem to upload like you would normally would as a like it's like for your uh, banner. So what needs to happen is I need to go ahead and put it in this box. There's not really a way to just copy and paste it from here. 
from the uh, Canva. I can't just like press copy and, and do that. It's not going to work as, as like it should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a Google Slides, go to Google, and just open up a blank slide. Now here's where I'm going to press my, um, or put my, my image, my GIF. So I'm going to go insert image, upload from computer, and look for the GIF that I made. And here it will be. So then after it's done that, you're going to copy, go to your Schoology, you're going to go to Updates, and you're just going to paste it in there. And one more time. Sometimes it, for some reason it didn't take. Now this should be size already, but if you feel like it's just not enough, you can always press these little gray buttons here and just move it to your, to your liking. And if you don't click the bell, what it's gonna do is just gonna put it down here. But if you press the bell, it's going to force it to make a copy and pin it right here. Press post, and there's your banner. Please tag me to see your creations.